It is a stadium where a different kind of football is more commonly the focus, but today it's all about the NFL as you get a look inside Allianz Arena in the Bavarian city of Munich, Germany. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Tennessee Titans. And now out comes Houston. Stroud sets up the play action. Right side complete. That's Woods. And he'll be out right at the 35. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. A good position to be in here, second and inches. A man coming off a great rookie year, it's Damian Pierce. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and in inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. A throw over the middle, taken in. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allowed a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Aziz Alshair, former 49er, in on the tackle. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now Stroud. He's got his man. It's Pierce. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now, way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through and also just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run here with Pierce. A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line down at the two. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack, that's gotten them down here. But now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it's Pierce. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Damian Pierce taking it in from two yards out. And the Texans will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game.
So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. On first down, Levis. That's caught. It's Chris Moore. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Defense gets up a touchdown on the open drive. Offense, you got to probably get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now Levis. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Levis throwing again on second down. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Levis out of the gun on third down. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. The hard-hitting safety, Jimmy Ward, picking up the sack that time. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did something like that. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six at its second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now he dumps this off over the middle. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. First and 10, it's Pierce. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 42-yard line, here's second and five. Back to throw, here's Stroud. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Stroud to throw it. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Texans football to start quarter two. 
On fourth down, here's Cameron Johnston on to punt for Houston. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Second down, here's Levis. Gets this to the former Texan, DeAndre Hopkins. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Working from the gun, here's Levis. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Henry up the middle. Stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Another powerful run and another workhorse season in the books for Henry. Let's take a peek at his numbers. He's led the NFL in carries and topped 1,500 yards for the third time in four years. In addition, fifth straight year with double-digit touchdowns. Levis to throw on first and 10 here. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Levis back to throw. It's complete. This is Derrick Henry. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. A first down carry for Henry, and they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Henry running right, and he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Levis on third down. Touchdown grab. And the Titans are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Desmond King to return it from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. On second down, here's Pierce. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First and ten, it's Stroud. This is caught, it's Woods. A really good pickup of 28 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. It's Brown. That one goes for 30 yards. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. Here goes Stroud again. And it's caught. Touchdown, Texans. Dalton Schultz, a five-yard touchdown. And the Texans will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Titans going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. First and ten, it's Levis. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. 
to this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Levis to throw it. Going to the right here and finding Burks. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Levis in trouble. Down he goes. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. And the Texans going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Throwing now is Stroud. Short throw into the hands of Jordan. So nothing doing there, and it'll be second down. So we are at halftime here in Munich in the NFL International Series as we send you back across the Atlantic to Orlando as we say guten tag to our guys standing by. That's Jonathan Coachman. Coach, taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Second and eight coming up. Levis from the gun. This one downfield to Burks. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Levis now on first and ten. Throw to the right, caught by Conquero. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 27. Play action now. Levis. Over the middle, he's got the tight end, Wesco. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On second down, here's Henry. 
A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Levis. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. You get down in this area of the field, you know you're going to get a heavy dose of number 22. They stopped him for a short game there, but can they do it a couple of more times? So second and goal, and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. They'll give it to him again. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry taking it in from two yards out. And the Titans are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. You think back to some of the great goal line bruisers of the past, the Earl Campbells, the John Riggins, the Marshawn Lynches. I think you can put Derrick Henry right in that group as he scores there with another patented Derrick Henry run. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. Here's the Texans offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was gonna be a hard fought game. Now they just need to go out execute their game plan and keep moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, as we all know, possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Second and ten. Here's Stroud. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Stroud on third down now. Complete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Titans now. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, 
When you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. For the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when they decided not to throw it on first down, but give them credit, they recovered in time to deny them the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. They'll try the right side with Henry. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So first and ten now from the 30. Again, it's Henry. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Derrick Henry. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So we'll get the penalty all sorted out when we get back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back to throw, it's Levis. physical play on the football there and it's second down he did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived and I've got to tell you you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach when you're going to get him sometimes you panic as well and think I've got to be there right now instead in this case timed it perfectly and knocked it free throw left side here into the hands of Wesco to tie it in so the completion good for just three. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Well, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Now a handoff to Henry. There's the stiff arm. And he's got it to about the 40. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and six. They'll run it again with Henry. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. 
Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And this is good from 57 yards out. That is bombs away right there. And they take a 17-14 lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. King going to look to bring it out. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Houston set to take over. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. To about the 33-yard line. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 33, here's a second down and six. Stroud will run the option left. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get, so he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Third and one, Stroud. Over the middle, complete. It's Woods. And he is going to have the Texans first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And Stroud now to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And we see another pitching catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On third down, they go with Singletary. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop them a couple of yards short. Interference, the call there always, obviously, Charles, such a subjective call. You agree with the penalty? 
Well, from where we're standing right now, I think the officials are tightening things up here in the second half. Maybe a defender gets away with that in the first, but this time the flag comes out, and I think it's a good call. Stroud to throw it. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Second and six coming up. Here's Stroud. That's caught again by Schultz. Gosh, given the time in the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so. But it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. A big play looming on third down. Stroud. Over the middle, that's caught by Mechie. And he is going to have a Texans first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. Get his three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. They'll come up now, second and nine. Now Stroud. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Stroud looks to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down. Palmer, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to potentially send us to overtime. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of the play. So in the final minute, they turn it over to their kicker to get him back to even, and he does not disappoint. Brandon, do you think the pressure ever gets to this guy? Because I sure don't. That was pretty smooth right there. But I tell you, he better not rest on his laurels because there's a good chance they may need him again if this game goes to overtime. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he'll weave all the way up to just a few yards shot of midfield. A great return. Well, so much for the worry about how they would be after losing their lead. What a big-time return to seize the momentum back. This is first and ten. 
Levis, he'll look to throw it. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Levis to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's more. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So it all comes down here to the right foot of Randy Bullock. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This a long one from 54. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So what a finish here. They maneuver to the outskirts of his range, Charles. He steps up, drills it from long distance. That was no gimme. I like that expression, outskirts of his range. Look, the kickers that I've met, all they want is a chance. And I think he knew this one was good the second it left his foot. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Well, this one partner was fun down at the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, farewell, Alviter Zane, goodbye from Munich.